So we're looking at using our compass. We're going to use the compass also in chapter three um, when we're doing parallel and perpendicular lines. But these are the things that I'm going to have on the test. So you are going to need your compass for the test and also the quiz that's coming up. So there are four constructions that I'm going to show you how to do. Okay. Now, holding your compass, some tips on this. Okay. Never, ever hold the side that the pencil is on. Don't ever have your hand touching that side ever. Okay. You want the best place to hold it is down by the sharp end. Or you could hold it at the top, but it's not as easy to do up there. Okay. So if you hold it down on the sharp end and then you tip it away from you, so your paper, here's your desk. You're going to hold it on the sharp end and tip it away from you and then spin the paper underneath. And you should be able to make a perfect circle that lines up. So just give that a shot. Make one circle. It doesn't matter where it is on your paper. Okay. If your compass is wobbly, like if you just shake it a little bit and it moves, this is going to be impossible for you. Okay. So your compass needs to be tight so that it doesn't move when you just shake it in your hand like this. Okay. The reason we don't ever hold the pencil end is if you're spinning this around, you're likely to squeeze this in or pull out and then it's not going to line up perfectly in a circle. We don't want that. Yeah. Okay, so here's how this works. I'm going to use this virtual compass up here so that you can see how to place it. Okay. So these are our steps. We're not going to have to write down any steps. We're literally just using the compass for this. So draw a long line with your straight edge. We want to copy this. You all need a straight edge. We're going to copy this line segment without measuring it with the ruler. I'll have the front person from each row come grab enough rulers for your row. Quietly, please. So what you're going to do is use this straight edge to draw a line at the bottom. Does everyone have a ruler now? Just need a straight edge, so. Oops. All right, all you need is something with a straight line on it. Here we go. So at the bottom of that page, you're going to place your straight edge, and you want to just draw a long line that's longer than this current line. Okay, your line should look a little bit straighter than mine. Okay, so that's step one. Now we're not going to take our ruler and just measure how long that line is that they gave us. Okay, that's not what we're doing. We're learning how to use our compass to measure. So it says open your compass to the length of the original arc. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to draw an arc right there so that I know that you were there measuring. Okay, so just draw a tiny little arc. And then all you're going to do is bring your compass down to the line you drew and draw another arc. But make sure that the sharp point is on one of the ends. Okay, so you put the sharp point there. You create this intersection, and now this is congruent to this. Do not erase the, the hang over or the leftover part of your segment here, okay? I want to see that. So you just copied the length of this segment down here on the bottom. That's it. Questions on that? OK. 
okay? Turn the page. We're going to learn how to bisect the segment. What does bisect mean again? Cut in half. It's written on the board over here. So we're going to cut this segment in half. So it says open your compass more than half the length of the segment. So we're going to place this here. We're going to open. It just has to be over halfway. Okay. Then it says put the point on A and make a large arc. Okay. So we'll go here. We make a large arc. Remember to spin your paper. It's a lot easier. Lean your compass away from you so that it's not straight up and down and spin your paper. Now, number three is hugely important. Keep the same opening, so do not move your compass. Don't open it or close it, change it at all. But what you're going to do is change it over to B and make another large arc. Now we're able to find the center. Now, 4 says, with your straight edge, connect the two X's that you made. These are the X's I'm talking about. This X up here and this X right here. So you're going to take your straight edge. We're never going to just eyeball this. You're going to use your straight line. What is that called right there? The midpoint, good. Questions on that? So you've learned two out of the four that I'm going to have on the test. We're going to practice this with a worksheet today. Anyone still need this one? All right, this right here is the hardest one that we're going to do out of the four. So step one, with your straight edge, draw a long line. So let's all make sure that we're on the same page here so that we can follow along. This one's a little bit more difficult. So down here, somewhere at the bottom, we're going to draw a long line. And again, my straight edge on the smart board just doesn't really work. Okay, so we've got a long line. This right here is going to be the same as this vertex right here. We're going to copy this angle. All right, step one is done. Number two, open your compass and put the point on the vertex of the angle, which is this green dot over here on the right, and draw an arc that intersects both sides. Okay, we can do that. So we put the sharp point here, and all, it doesn't matter how far open it is. You just want to draw an arc that cuts through both sides. Okay, so there's my arc that goes through both sides of the angle. Now don't move your compass. Okay, it says put the point of the compass on the end of the long line you do. So we're going to take this arc, and we're going to draw that same thing right over here. This is the one that most kids, these two, are the hardest ones for kids to remember how to do. Okay, so let's really pay attention right here. What we want to do is measure how long this arc is over here on the right, in between the two blue rays. So here's how we do this. We put the sharp end on one of them, and we want to measure how long it is. Nope, we're just opening the compass up so that it's one, the sharp point and the pencil are on the ends of the arc. So the opening of the compass is how long your arc is. You want to put a mark here so that I know that you were there measuring it. That's part of your points on your test. I want to know that you were there. Now this length of the arc, we need to copy over here on the left. So basically, we want to figure out how high up on this arc will we have that same intersection. So what we're going to do
is put the sharp end here so that we can draw an arc on this arc. So we have the same length arc. Because if it's the same length arc, we're going to have the same degrees on the angle. So again, 4 and 5 are typically the ones that kids forget how to do. The last one, it says, connect the end of your line, this green dot over here on the left, with the X that we just made. But make sure you use a straight edge when you do it. So we're going to connect the end of our line right there. Now, if you were to take a protractor, and I'm not going to on the test, they should be pretty close to each other as far as degrees. If you have all of these correct markings, you're going to get a, a 4, a perfect. Okay? If, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go and measure them. If you're doing all these right steps, that's all I want to see. Okay? So just do your best on those. I know there's going to be human error or your compass slips a little bit. As long as you're following the steps and showing me all of these arc marks, we're good to go. Questions before our last one? All right, this one's a little bit easier. Cutting an angle in half, bisecting an angle. So our four steps are right here. It says with your compass point on the vertex, so let's start there. Compass point on the vertex. It says draw an arc that crosses both sides. So it starts similar to the way the last one did. Okay, so we've got an arc that goes through both sides. Again, if you hold your compass just on the sharp end, tip your compass away from you and spin your paper, it doesn't bounce around so much. The pencil doesn't bounce on the paper. All right, then it says put the point on one of these intersections. So the intersections I'm talking about are right here and right here. So it doesn't matter which one we do first, but we are going to... And we want to open this up because what we're trying to do is create an X down here so that we can connect an X back to this vertex. So you want to make sure your compass is wide enough so that you're going to have, if you go from both sides, an arc that crosses itself. So we're going to have an arc from that side. And then we're going to have an arc, don't move your compass, an arc from this side. So sharp end here draw an arc, and then the sharp end here, draw an arc. And they should cross each other. If they don't cross each other, then just open your compass up wider and go back and do those same two things. Okay, and then the last step is just to connect this X with the vertex of the angle. So we'll take our straight edge. and draw that right through. What do we know about these two angles here? They're the same, so we can put in those congruent angle symbols. <coughs> Questions? So keep this paper out. I'm going to give you a worksheet so that you can have your step-by-step -step directions for each one of these. <coughs> 